Hey guys, how are we all? I've not filmed makeup in so long, so I thought today we could do a gold shimmery autumn makeup look. So, hope you guys enjoy. I don't really know if people enjoy makeup, but I used to love doing it on this channel like two years ago, and I feel like I've just not done any recently. So, let's get ready together. So, I'm going to put all my clips in. And I did this makeup look the other day and I loved it. And I got a few compliments on Instagram when I put a pick up. So I was like, you know what? I will film a video on it. I got these clips from Primark, by the way. But first things first is base. So, what I always do before my makeup is the Cerazinc um la roche posay toner also i really need to order some new makeup i have ordered a new foundation and concealer which i'll use today because i think i'm really enjoying it um but i've got no no setting spray i've been using like some face sprays and just like praying they work but so then i've been loving this Effaclar. I don't know what it is. K plus um renovating skincare. When I actually bought all this, like I knew what it all did, and that's why I bought it all. Um, but I have no idea now. Bit of this. Ignore this. Fake tan always goes so orange on my hands and arms and everywhere else it just doesn't. Then, um, this is the Saya Plast B5 Soothing Repairing Balm. And I feel like this has really been helping my skin at the minute. It's so nice. It's like a really nice moisturiser. Well, wow, soothing balm. Once that is done, I'm just going to spray my face with this Mario Badescu facial spray. I just wanted to put that in because I feel like it's so important to show what you put on before your foundation and everything like that because that is the stuff that just makes your face look so much better. But yeah, I have got a new foundation, but I think I'm going to start with the eyes today that's what I'm thinking because when I did it the other day I didn't do the eyes first and I thought it was just too difficult to do the eyeshadow I like to ramble in these videos sorry about that wish I could like bring you a bit closer for the eyes but I film on my phone I can't afford a camera <laughs> also all my brushes are dirty and I should have cleaned them but I just couldn't be bothered. So I'm going to take this P. Louise base to start off with all over the eyes on a dirty brush. You can't really see anything. <laughs> so that's good, but this is the palette I've been loving at the minute. It's one I made by Sample Beauty myself. I think I did this on Beauty Bay and you can just add loads of different shades. I have no idea what the shade names are. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that doesn't really help, but it's just these three and maybe the black that I'm going to be working with today. So, literally going to be using the middle shade for the lid, maybe some of the paler one as well, and then the darker colour on the outer corner and that really nice gold in the middle. That felt like it was going to fall forward then. But how are you all enjoying October? That is why I want to know. I am already ready for Christmas. I feel like that is the sad thing, like, when it gets to um august i'm already thinking about pumpkin picking and autumn and like crunchy leaves 
and then when halloween hasn't even been i'm already thinking about christmas and already bought like christmas decor a lot of my christmas stuff it's just it's sad but it's just uh, such a nice time of the year i absolutely love it I'm just gonna do it really messily because we can clean the outer corner but yeah i am very excited for christmas on actual halloween i'm going to cheshire oaks and meeting some friends and we're having a nice like lunch day and just having a little mooch around and then i'll probably come home i mean i would always watch horror films together so we'll probably have a horror film night i think it's on a monday this year but the weekend of ha the weekend before halloween i'm going to swift together so that is basically my halloween night i'm going to swift again with two of my friends and we're gonna get drunk listening to taylor swift that's just my dream so i've messily done that and then do you remember when i used to use cards for makeup i don't know if i brought any but it's okay we can clean it with makeup i'm gonna go with the dark brown on like an angled brush like that and just I feel like the smokiness of the outer corner really makes, like, just really suits my eye shape and always makes my eye looks. I don't suit round eye looks. I need it to, like, sort of cat wing out. Now that we have a sort of, like, cat eye shape, I'm going to take a flat brush, if I can find a clean one. This will do. All mine are, a lot of my brushes are the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill because I think they're really good. Um, but I'm going to take some of that really nice gold shade. Also, how stunning is that blue? I feel like we need to use that. One of them feels like it's coming forward every time I show it the camera. So I'm going to drown my brush in it. These are like pressed pigments, so a lot of um, stuff like comes off. So it's nice to spray it a few times and then i'm literally just gonna like put it on the lid i'll try and get as close as i can just so you can see how stunning this is look at that and like it just opens my eye up so much but like the dark, I just, I just love it. I love it. What do you think? Because I think that is so good. And I, do you know what? I think the pans in this were like two fifty each, and the actual palette was only eight pound. Like it wasn't that expensive, and you could get all different sizes. I just feel like it's really good that I could take this traveling because I like color, but I also like stuff like this that I can just do all the time. But yeah, I really love that. I feel like this with a red lip for Christmas time would be so cute. So my trick is to really like put it above my actual crease. I feel like it just makes my eyes so much bigger. Percy nearly ate my eyelashes then. But what do you think? I really, really like it. What are you doing? Hey? But yeah, I think that is the eyes done. I might just blend a bit more of the neutral colour. Can you stop? This why I don't like going here. So, eyes are all done. Now, I'm gonna quickly prime with, I've just got the ordinary high adherent silicone primer. I quite like it to be honest. It's just good. I've got quite a few pores and a bit of texture. I just want to, you know, smooth me skin so i was watching rachel leary do a makeup look and she said that she used this foundation in this shade and that it was a favorite and i tried it yesterday and i love the finish of it and i love how it photographs but i feel like it does go really dark like i think it's a little too dark for me which is really annoying but i do really like it i'm going to use it again today it's the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in Van Ewer 2. But I do really like it. It's really nice. I just think it oxidises a little bit. But it's, it's quite thin. 
I'd say it's a light to medium coverage, but you can build it up really easy to be like a high me um like a high medium. That's what I normally do. Normally do. I've had this a few oh, less than a week. But do you know what? it just looks like your skin. It's glowy, looks like your skin, I feel like. I'd probably just wear like a really small layer of this some days but if I wasn't like going out or anything like that. I feel like it just looks really nice. It doesn't hide um, a lot of like blemishes, but you just want to seal it for that. But yeah, I really, really like it. I just, I feel like you can see what I mean. You can still see all my texture which is completely normal by the way. I'm getting wrinkles, I'm getting old, but yeah, it's just nice. I just, I feel like it's just really light. And sometimes I don't want a really full coverage foundation all the time. So I just feel like I need to get a shade lighter, maybe just mix them because I like the undertone of this. Then I bought this recently. This is in Chantilly and it's this was like the only colour they really had left on Look Fantastic and they had an offer. Like if you buy two NARS products, you get money off. So I got the concealer, which I've never had before. And I tried this yesterday for the first time and I actually really liked it. I feel like these two really complement each other. But yeah, I'm a NARS girl now. I used to have NARS sheer glow back in the day but it never used to, it used to look amazing and then just started separating on my face like as the evening went on. But I feel like I need to try it again. I wanna try loads of products that I used to love because I feel like I didn't really understand skincare when I was younger. Like it sounds stupid, but I feel like I never knew how you had to like cleanse and like toner is so amazing for my face. I just didn't really know any of that. So I wonder if it would work better now. Although I feel like I had, I've got a lot of texture recently. I feel like I've been using a product that my skin doesn't like and it's really annoying me. Although I do forget to do skincare a lot. But yeah, look how nice. I feel like the base is just looking really nice. But I think I'd get the Stromboli shade because I feel like a lot of people get that. Um, It's just a bit more yellow. And I feel like sometimes... It doesn't match my tan, like my tan isn't very yellow. I always put leftover concealer underneath my cheekbones to make them pop a bit more. But yeah, I feel like they do go really nicely together. But just maybe a shade lighter. It looks, I think it looks okay on camera. Don't come for me. So, keeping up with all cream products. I'm going to use a cream bronzer and a cream blush and these two I've been loving at the minute so the bronzer is chai um matte the what is it primark foundation stick love this and then the revolution fast paced blush in rose really been loving this love these two together I mean I love all these cream products really just so weird i used to never use cream products and i'd always use powders and i feel like i just like to use less powder now and all the creams just work really nicely together so with the blush i literally can see where i use it I need a new one. I need a new everything makeup wise, but my birthday and Christmas is coming up. I'm also after this gonna try and film like what I want for Christmas video. So that might that'll probably be up before this. Because I like to get them all my Christmas videos done early November, end of October. Because I like I just like it. I need to be prepared and I feel like now I'm officially an adult. 25 next month i really need to like sort myself out i need to get presents like this paycheck coming up and next one and then i do get paid just before christmas but 
I should really be prepared by then. <laughs> Loads of blush. I don't really have a cream highlighter that I'm obsessed with. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. But there's the face so far. I'm going to set it with the iHeart Revolution Banana Powder. This is something that's really good to put in your stocking. I feel like I definitely need to do um, like a stocking video for me, just purely beauty products because they have so many good things. And I feel like I'm, I'm just good at gift ideas. Not to toot my own horn, but I think I'm good at it. Just took the foundation lips off just gonna dust away the excess powder i feel like it's just it's a good powder i do want to try other powders though i just need a new sponge because it's so old like even when i'm using it i'm like do you know what i mean i just i'm, I'm lazy with stuff like that it's annoying but yeah let's move on to powders so here are the three products i've been loving firstly mega bronzer in warm i've been raving about this for years i honestly think that it's like one of the best bronzers oh i trapped my finger in it and it's massive i think it's like a fiver for all this just love it absolutely love it i don't think you need to spend loads of money i feel like cream products I, I feel like foundation, concealer, stuff like that. I like to spend a bit more money on. But I just don't think for powder products you do. But if you have any, like, really good recommendations for um, drugstore foundations, please let me know because I've not used a lot recently. The Maybelline Superstay is probably one of my favourites. I seem to always go back to that. Because I do really, really like it. Next for blush. I've been loving this um, iHeart Revolution Strong Shimmer Blush. And here's what it looks like. It's just really nice when you mix both of them together. Oh, there's my brush. I just feel like the glow in it. I feel like it makes me look healthy. Then, for highlighter, I've really been loving the Extra by Morphe. I feel like it's broken a bit. But, I love it. Just going to use like a little tapered brush. I used to drown in highlighter. Now I don't really like to wear loads. have the little contour bit popping so next is eyebrows and i've been using an eyebrow pencil religiously and i've lost it so i'm back on the dip brow because that's all i really have this is in the shade medium brown probably not used this since i i feel like i'm quite blonde at the minute so literally just using an angled brush i think it's mac 266 that was it was a banger back in the day wasn't it my very old and then just yeah try not i try not to go too overboard with this because i've been really loving the pencil it was from soda beauty on beauty bay and it's really inexpensive i think i've got the shade kim but i just i need it i need it back i mean it just completely changed my face although i keep dyeing my eyebrows and it's not lasting, it's really annoying me. They're a bit scruffy, they're not perfect, just like me. I'm just going to take the Collection Clear Mascara and run it through. Not got a lot of this left. So, I'm going to quickly go off camera, do my eyeliner, which is Collection Fast Stroke 299. I've been raving about this since high school. And then the lashes, I'm not going to lie, they're just old lashes, but I think they're high maintenance by Pan Lashes um, because they are my favourites. What are we thinking? I just added the same eyeshadows from top, the darker one underneath. 
um just stuck my lashes on so bear with this one's just really full here random they are old you know they do so i need to i need to open another one but not today not for today in my lash line i just put a black coal liner it's old so again need to buy another one then i've been using this mini mac stacks because i've lost my giga black lash but this doesn't transfer either which is amazing because everything transfers on me so i'm just going to put a little bit underneath then lastly it's lips so i've been loving mac stone lip liner do i have a sharpener yes line a little bit don't judge then i've been loving honey love by mac which i feel like everyone loves i do love mac myth as well i just have no idea where that is right now here's a close-up of the glam I love it. I feel like it just looks really glam. It's quite glam. But I just feel like from how I looked at the start of the video to now, my skin is like looking glowy. My eyes are popping. I just love it. I hope you enjoyed. I'll try and link everything below. If not, just comment. Harass me. Because I always say that and then I end up uploading anyway, not actually putting anything in. The description box and it's annoying for even me i feel sorry it's just annoying but yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed getting glam with me i've really missed doing makeup videos so i hope you enjoyed and i hope it was all right <laughs> thanks so much i'll see you soon for a brand new video bye guys